Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ, rwresearch.com. Pulse Motor Build Off 2017. Don't forget, you have until November 1st. Um, I'm going to talk about this guy today, but uh, just a little bit and show you some other stuff. But real quick, uh, some announcements to the Pulse Motor Build Off 2017. Don't forget to hashtag your videos, Pulse Motor Build Off 2017 or PMBO. 2017 2017 okay so here's the deal um, there have been two people volunteer to send some prizes um, one of the persons uh, in order to be volunteered not even a word anyway to be eligible to win that prize you must go sign up to the mailing list on his website go check out his website while you're there and uh, if you don't sign up you won't be eligible so you must go there and sign up um, it is an Arduino starter pack, from what I understand. Could be something else, but that's from what I understand. Um, and there could be potential for other things if you're not into that at all. That is to be finalized after the contest, but that winner will get something. Um, there's another gentleman, uh, or lady, I'm not sure, who uh, offered to send some stuff. And um, I said, okay. Uh, so that stuff most likely will be eligible for the United States or Canada only because shipping around the world is tremendously expensive and the stuff might get lost if I do that. So I apologize from the beginning. I wanted to just do this for fun, but people want to donate prizes and I'm happy for that. So I have to be uh, cautious on how much money it's going to take in order to get prizes across the world. So if it's something really small and I can ship it, that's fine. Um, I also do have a few other prizes uh, that I can give away that will be determined um, at the end and I don't even know who will be judging but hey you know what this is all about having fun and that's the whole purpose and so I hope you guys are having fun don't forget if your project is a fail or you don't get finished in time publish what you have because that's the point teach people what you did what you failed about and then other persons don't do that I'm going to show you an example right now so here is my Pulse motor build off. Well, this was to replace my uh, my other little device. So this is actually completely floating on uh, on bearing air bearings, and I'll show you some close ups of that probably at the end of this thing. I have to actually finish uh, a lot more solar panels. There are 48 solar panels on here. You can see how they're well, maybe you can see how they're on there. All right, there's eight on each side, 16, and there are 48 total. And I have two, I have four more sides to put together. I didn't know if parallel series was better, so I tried one all parallel, one all series. I think uh, the all parallel are the best, but I might end up doing series parallel for the rest of them. So two panels, series pa parallel. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you now a bunch of footage from my phone, and that will be basically the end of this video. Um, and I hope you enjoy watching me make a really big mistake. By the way, um, Monday night, last Monday night, at 6 o'clock I started this, and I was trying to get it done by Thursday night. So the last video where I'm talking about Thursday night, and it's like X time, that's full moon night, and you can see where I was at, you can see where I got. That was including designing, engineering, testing, and, uh, configuring and what wrapping the coils and I was up basically for an entire night and it was a bust but I will finish this before the end of the contest because I think it will still run in the ambient light but there are some flaws including a magnetic unbalance which we'll talk about probably in another video anyway cheers guys by the way the intro made my made by a friend of mine um Dayton. thank you buddy cannot speak today um, I really appreciate that, and for those of you who want to grab that intro, it will be posted online. Don't forget to go sign up to the forums, because that's where you're going to post your uh, entry video. And if you don't sign up now, um, I just want to make sure you actually go sign up right now, because I want you to be able to um, have to be you know, registered, and if there's any problems like that, you can get a hold of me in the email address in the link in the description. Well, enjoy watching me try to fail miserably still a success yet failure in my mind check it out enjoy bye bye
Okay guys, so how do I turn this light off? I do not know. Okay guys, I know you can't see much, but I have all of these solar panels sitting on a piece of clad board because I need to take my meter and uh, and actually test each one. The moon is extremely bright. Look how much you can see if you can see my hand even in this crappy low lighting. So I'm going to test each one of these and pick out the bad ones. And yeah, it, they're not all good. So I laid them all on a copper clad so I could actually do that. And it is uh, 1250 in the AM the day before full moon. There's not too much, like this ambient light down here, it doesn't really reflect up here. You can see how, it's hard to tell, but it is very bright up here. So, we should get some good, good readings. Alright, well, it's 2.43 in the AM. I went through, I don't know, 500 of these or something. I ended up with enough to make a good, those are the bad ones. I am had a... One row and a little bit of really good ones. Some of them even broken that are really good. And some that are okay. And then intermediate, but holy crap, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. And I still got coils to wrap tonight. I think I'm going to wrap it. And then I'll crash. Got to get it done, man, for tomorrow. Actually, today's the 5th. Hmm, today might be the full moon. Oh well, I'll be a day late. I'm exhausted. But I got it done. I got to go to bed now. I have got to go to bed now. All right, well, it's 10 to 56. And I've got all these guys soldered on there. Oh, my gosh. So they're all soldered on the top. 48 of them. And it uh, doesn't look like much, but, yeah. That's a bit of work. So um, now we're going to try to get them on the uh, thing oh geez let's let's hurry up well battery power savings on no thank you go away it's uh 12 35 in the a.m i got the first set of panels done and i checked it out try to get something out of it and it doesn't do anything um i think i, I made a mistake i tried to get all the good solar panels right and the ones that put out the most voltage in the moonlight and my guess is they don't put out much current but they put out a lot of voltage i actually thought voltage would be helpful but my resistance is only about 470 ohms or so across that coil so when i hook up the coil the voltage just disappears there's like no voltage difference whatsoever um so, basically, I'm going to go out in the moonlight now, and at least uh, look at it. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the jar first. Oh, man, you can't see anything. Well, there you go. It is in the jar. It's a bigger jar than I intended. And it is spinning. And it is slowing down. Because I spun it up by hand, because it was a complete fail. Well, it's pretty bright, but not as bright as last night. I think it was brighter last night. So, I had a bit of a problem. And that problem was my own fault. But, here it is. The moon motor in the jar. And it's a complete fail. The resistance is so high, and I hand-selected all those solar panels and something tells me just because they were giving higher voltage I should have checked current but you know you live and learn don't you so this is a complete fail and I busted my toes pretty good on the stairs downstairs I didn't see anything so you win this time moon you win this time but I'll be back back from the future Okay, seriously, I'm completely burned out. I'm going to go crash now. 
Oh well. Can't win them all. This is torturous. I got this side peeled off, but look how bad these things are so hard to get off. Good glue. But uh, I'm going to replace them. Don't worry. This is my trash can. Nothing too too bad in there. <laughs> Bathroom trash can. Uh, 916 on the 7th. I'm going to try this anyway. I'm going to test all these panels that I thought were bad, which were actually pretty good. Even though they don't put out too much voltage at low light. I'm going to check them for current this time. And we'll just deal with that. No, we don't have to worry about voltage. I just want current. By the way, I had these all connected in series, but I think I'm going to do four in series. And then those four, two and two in parallel. Give me a little bit more current. In case I can't get all the current through them. At least doing parallel like that will save me. I haven't ripped the wires out yet, but oh my gosh. I tried a few times on accident. I'll scrape these off. We'll keep going. We'll get it done. I will finish this. I just don't know if it's going to run in the moonlight. You don't know until you try, huh? Well, it's not an all fail. So even with two coils and the ambient light with these super tinted, they have like 95% tint on them, it still runs. But um, just not, not quite what I was looking for. I, I suspect panels I picked out give out good voltage because they don't have any current in the moonlight but you know live and learn I'll have to test a few panels and then I'll go ahead and make up the other set of coils uh, that I have on here use different panels I l probably cannot get those panels off I tried it on my test one yeah not really any good so yeah it's not a total fail but you know it is what it is but now I got this magnet back here just giving me some extra flux plus hanging makes it uh, make it makes it hang in there but hey you gotta fail sometimes so you can succeed next time right failures are a good thing it is what it is thanks for watching everybody god bless you guys have a good day pulse motor build off 2017 continues yep peace and love god bless don't forget to check out the uh, Links in the description for what I talked about at the beginning of this video. And uh, yeah, thanks again for everybody's uh, attention. Bye-bye.